Danica Laura from Saskatchewan. I, um, I wanted to call you back here because I wanted you to tell us about the pig story. Well, the pig story came about on my tours of little rural communities in Saskatchewan where I was taking a workshop out into communities. And part of it was taking a bead and planting a seed of a story. And the beads just had one word on them. And so I took this to libraries and schools and friendship centers, all sorts of different venues, including extended care homes. And I don't know if you've walked into those extended care homes where everybody sits in front of the television set and at meals they bring them over to the square table and everybody eats and then they get pushed back to their rooms. And so this uh, experience for me, when, I, when I'm able to sit and talk to the elderly, it's such a rich experience for me. And during this one afternoon, I had an a elderly, a elderly gentleman sitting at one of the tables, and he, he took a bead, and he looked at that bead, and he was fairly quiet for a while. And with the beads, we recall memories or things in our imagination, stories that we tell each other. And he looked at that word, and I asked him, if you know, I asked him to see it, and, and the word on the bead was pig. And so I asked him if he'd ever had any experience with pigs. And it was an agricultural community, so, you know, I could be right in assuming that he may have been a farmer at some point. And he looked at me, and he looked at the rest of us sitting around the table, and he began to tell us a story about this very, very cold winter night in Saskatchewan. Very, very cold. People in the rest of Canada don't even understand how cold it gets in Saskatchewan. And he told us the story of a sow that was about to give birth and how he delivered all through the night he was delivering piglets by hand. So he would deliver a piglet and he'd take the piglet to, the, to suckle and then he'd wrap the piglet in a bit blanket. Sixteen piglets were born that night and he, he, just, he just told us the story. And he told us that out of all the sows that he had, that was probably the only one that he would have been able to get into the pen with because her demeanor was just so calm. But he saved all of those little piglets. And it led to this incredible discussion about how farming used to be, what the agricultural picture was several decades ago, and how much it's changed, and, and the memories that, that uh, are the good memories and the memories of hard work, but, but just beautiful memories shared. And, and we have these treasures in the stories of our elders across the province. And, and I, was, I just felt so incredibly lucky to have this project where I was able to gather some of the stories and, and find where the stories connected and where our, our paths cross. And, and I could remember, you know, the, with that, all the sensory memories come up, you know, the smell of driving to my grandparents' farm past the pig barns and, and knowing, remembering my grandmother taking the scraps out. But, so we're all connected and the Culture Days was able to give me an avenue to, to make these incredible connections and build community in our province. Thank you so much for telling that story. Thank you.